Hello, my friends. For today's session, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving a Reiki hand massage. I suppose kind of hand and arm massage. So, I like doing this because there are so many receptive energies in our palms. We can hold so much in our arms. And for a lot of us, it's a real place of tension. So, I really wanted to provide this nice Reiki hand massage, hopefully, for your relaxation as well as yours as well. So, I'm going to begin by just doing a little bit of dry brushing. This can be really helpful just to remove any of the surface kind of debris, slough off any skin cells or dry skin. So we're going to begin with that. Then we're going to be doing a warm almond milk bath. So I'm going to begin by just unbuttoning here, rolling up your sleeve. You can relax your arm if that's a comfortable. Okay. And now you can just relax your arm. do this was because my lovely volunteer and I as well have been doing some yard work, which is exciting and fantastic and makes me really happy, but it does mean that we get kind of cut up. <laughs> we cut down a tree the other day, didn't we? And had to take off some tree-sized branches from another tree. Just doing work on the property is can kind of get your hands all beat up and grubby. <laughs> so I'm just going to begin by kind of dry brushing around the nails. you're doing kind of full dry brushing, typically you brush towards the heart space. We're not doing full on, and I do it really gently on the back of the arm, on the forearm. Can you open up your hand for me?
Okay. So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned soul, and loving, comfort, and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki hand massage for relaxation, balance, and purification. Now, if there's anything that you would like to set in addition to that, maybe clarify the intention or specify it or set your own intention based on whatever you're moving through, feel free, free to use this flame to do so now. And as long as it's serving your and everyone else's highest wisest, most empowered and aligned selves. We will honor that intention and see it through time and space to where and whenever it's applicable. Okay, so we'll leave this here if you need some extra time. I'll just be kind of flickering away. Okay. Yeah, let me have you just move your hands aside for a moment. I'm going to get this prepped. If you want to put them in your lap, just for a minute. pretty perfect for this. Although I've never used it before for this, I just thought because it's kind of shallow, it'll be easy. Hopefully that works. But this is usually where I keep my fruit. And I have a little bit of what was hot water and should be warm water by now. Perfect. Really nice temperature. That's nice. Okay. Why don't you put your hands in there and we'll see if needs any more? Are you able to put your hands any deeper in there? That's good. And if you can just kind of put them like that, that's perfect. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this almond milk into our water. few drops of this little oil blend. This has rose, bergamot, and lavender. The vitamin E carrier oil. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little to the basin and then a few drops to your palms. Because of that bergamot, it doesn't smell, it's not too floral. It's really nice. Just gonna get that in and then incorporate this into the water. Actually, it's 
kind of bouncing around. do this kind of thing to yourself be really helpful just pampering yourself make sure that you're taking good care of your skin your hands your palm there are chakra points in our palms obviously not part of the seven primary chakras but there's just so much energy that can come in so much tightness and tension that we can hold in our forearms and it's really important to just tend to ourselves a little bit of oil water warmth to kind of soften and open up the pores this are you already starting to fall asleep okay I think that should be pretty good if you can just gently open your hands right oh yeah that looks good okay Nice, I'm going to move this. I'll put this towel underneath your hands so that you can, you don't have to worry about getting it wet. So if you just want to put your hands right on there. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of oil on the arms and forearms and then we're going to lock that in with some cream. symbols in the palms of my hands Just turn your hands palm up for me and I'll do the same thing. I'm going to draw the sacred symbols in the palms of your hands. I'll do that with my nail.
And then I'm going to use a little bit of the other oil. So again, a little bit of more of this oil. Okay. Nice. It's not hurting your scratches, is it? Okay. So let me... If you just... Relax this arm for me, and then I'll just massage it. Can you relax from here? Yeah, good. Okay. So I'm just working that oil into your palms. Spreading out the fingers, stretching the fingers. Opening up this space here in the palm. Good. Okay. If you want to rest that hand there. A few more drops on this hand. And then we'll just massage that in. I think hand and arm massages are almost more relaxing and satisfying, like a back massage or a full body massage. Just because I feel like this part of our body, I feel like doesn't just doesn't get that much kind of attention or like gentle attention. Our forearms. For a lot of us, none of, you know, like even her back doesn't get a lot of attention, but it's, uh, it's just so nice. And because it's so focused and concentrated, you can really get a lot of attention paid to all the little muscles and joints. And gently just turn this hand over. We have kind of a creaky table that we're working on. So again, just massaging the palms. Bring 
dropping and pull through and again bring up and pull through a little bit of cream. This is like the generic brand of Cetaphil. And I think both of these are just so good for dry skin. They're really, the cream is like really, really sick. And if you have dry skin, it really does sink in without, from my experience, without leaving any, leaving it super greasy or without a weird consistency. I've always had really dry hands since I was like a baby, so um, I, I feel like I'm pretty credentialed to talk about different creams, and this is the one that I've been using forever. Obviously not. This isn't sponsored. I would have told you earlier. But, um, I do have, some of you ask me sometimes what I, why I use that cream, or what's the cream I'm using. It's usually a Cetaphil or like a generic brand of Cetaphil that I'm using. And that's my favorite hand and body lotion. And I'd say working hands can be good if you have, like, you have some kind of really dry areas here, just from, I'm sure, from just using your hands a lot, doing some kind of hard physical labor, so you have some drier spots. And so for me, I think what is helpful is putting a thicker cream, like, I think it's called working hands or workman hands or something. You can just relax your hands. And, uh, and then putting something like Cetaphil or this gentle skin cream. to kind of seal that moisture in and then you can put some cotton gloves on or something like that. It just seals it all in. Leave it for 20 minutes or something like that. So my palms are attuned to Reiki, and we're just sending this loving, healing energy into the palms, the hands, the fingers, the forearms. As we talk about here a lot, you know, we're encouraging movement with everything we do. Physical movement, energetic movement, movement of thought and emotion. So, as we're doing this, we're just promoting more flow energetically and within the body. And sometimes when you're receiving a Reiki massage, you can turn your hand over for me like that. Are you falling asleep? Sometimes when you're doing a Reiki massage of any kind, some emotions might come up or you might have certain thoughts or even go into a dreamlike state because 
that fluidity is really opening things up. more comfortable. Is that comfortable there? Okay. There we go. So just focusing on the palm itself. Sending this healing energy into the palm. session before we began and we decided to put that up on Patreon. Because <laughs> I was, it, as I was doing it, it was really soothing and relaxing to do. So I was like, actually, you know, this would probably be a really relaxing video for our lovely patrons. Okay, I'm going to put some hand cream on this one. You can Move that hand over like that. Good. All right. I have some stones I'm going to use as well here. Drawing a few more symbols in the palms of the hands, just to keep this flow happening. Yeah, gently turn this over. I'm just gonna get a little bit more cream. As with every Reiki session, no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing a full session, full body session, whether you're doing the Mikau Three Pillars of Reiki, whether you're doing Usui Three uh, Pillars of Reiki that we talked about in our session recently, Gasho, Reiji Ho, Chiryo. Where you're doing the Takata style, where you have the traditional hand positions. Regardless of what you're doing, if you're doing it on a pet, if you're doing distance Reiki, if you're doing a Reiki massage, if you're doing Um, any Reiki healing, hands-on healing. I suppose it wouldn't apply to a distance session, but it's the touch is always gentle but firm. I 
and gentle but firm as the way that I would like to. I strive to be in life. Gentle but not, I mean, boundaried, but gentle, kind, open. That's how I, I'd like to be described, I guess. Would be nice. That's how I would strive to be. If I'm, if I had my druthers, <laughs> be gentle at first. You know, you want to place your hands open like this. And I'll start to use some stones. To incorporate some of the properties that these beautiful stones have to offer. is a massage wand, but it's just a wand in general that I like to use for sessions, and I think it can be really helpful for extractions, energetic extractions, because Indigo Gabbro is all about kind of pulling any of that negativity or darkness to the surface. So using the stone to kind of extract any tension, pull out anything, I think can be really helpful. And I want to start with this so we can incorporate some loving, gentle, soothing energy afterward to kind of close it off. So we're going to start here. The stone itself is kind of cool. How does that feel? Good. So it's kind of focused energy. It's almost like using your thumb. Be gentle and kind of lift it a bit at the wrist and then come back in Oop. at the palm. Move through. Not hard, but just more, more firm here. Firmer here. And then each finger moving through. Mm hmm That's good. Okay. That needs a little bit more oil. My hands have too much lotion. more drops here. Just so it has a little bit of slip so it's not tugging on your skin. to the surface. So anything, anything that you've encountered today or this week even that's from an outside source that's been really negative that you might have been receiving in through your hands, your negative energies, we're just pulling those out. 
I cast that into the flame. with light, with love, with acceptance. Any tension is just melting away. physical tension is melting. Drawing out the physical tension.
Okay. So, we are all done with our Reiki hand massage. How are you feeling? Good, okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's such a pleasure to be able to connect with you here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. That really means a lot to me. And for, you know, all of your incredible comments, whenever I read them, it really, like, it means so much to me. And I have a little list that I keep saved of all of the comments that I read whenever I'm feeling down, you know, or whatever, just to give me a boost and remind me of why I want to keep doing this. So I just can't thank you enough, truly, from the bottom of my heart for being here. It really means so much to me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And until we meet again, be so, so well. Not have that fear or apprehension of being disliked or judged by other people. 